Hi everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. Well, this is Varun Ganga. In the last session, we have learned how to use the shortcut when we are multiplying a number with series of ones. In this session too, we are going to have a look of one more example regarding the same shortcut. And the example that I am going to take in this session is 2 alike 30,789 into 1,111. So guys, as I said to you that before going to use the shortcut, at first we have to count the number of ones that there are in series. Here I am having 4 ones. This gives the idea that how many digits should be added in the multiplicand by using the shortcut in order to get the answer. So as we are having 4 ones in the series, we have to add 4 digits at a time in the multiplicand to get the answer. So why do wait? Let's start. So at first, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to take the ones place digit and write it in the answer as it is. Here in the multiplicand, that is in ones place, I'm having the digit 9. And this 9 should be written in the answer as it is. Now, moving to further step, that is step number 2. Again, here I have to add the digits that are in ones place and tens place. By adding the digits that are in ones place and tens place, that is 9 plus 8, I will get the sum 17. Since you know that 17, it is a two digit number, so we have to take 7 and we have to write it in the answer and the digit that is left over, that is the digit in tens place, should be taken as carry on. So in the answer, now we will be having the digit 7 and 9. Now moving furthermore, Again, we have to add the digits that are in 1's place, 10's place and 100's place. By adding all these digits, that is 9, 8 and 7, I will get the sum 24. So, again by adding the carry on 1 to it, I will get the sum 25. You know that 25 it is a 2 digit number, so we have to take 5. And the number 2 should be taken as carry on. The 5 should be written in the answer. So, in the answer, now I will be having 5, 7 and 9. Now moving furthermore, that is step number 4, here I have to add the digits that are in 1's place, 10's place, 100's place and 1000's place. By adding all these digits, that is 9, 8, 7 and 0, again I will get the sum 24. By adding the carry on 2 to it, I will get 26. Now 26, it is a 2 digit number, so 6 should be taken and 2 should be taken as carry on. So this 6 should be written in the answer. And in the answer, I will be having the digits 6, 5, 7 and 9. Now moving furthermore, if you observe very clearly here, I have added only 4 digits at a time by leaving the last digit that is 9. So again, here I am adding the digits that, is, that are in 10's place, 100's place, 1000's place and 10,000's place. That is 8, 7, 0 and 3. By adding all these 4 digits, I will get the sum 18. By adding carry on 2 to it, I will get the sum 20. So 20 it is a 2 digit number, so 0 should be taken and 2 should be taken as carry on and the 0 should be written in the answer. And in the answer now, I am having the digits 0, 6, 5, 7 and 9. Now moving furthermore. Again, I have to leave two more digits from the right side and I have to add four digits at a time. So guys, if you observe very closely and clearly, here I am adding only four digits at a time. You know why? Because we are multiplying the number with series of four ones, that is 1111. So this is the reason why we have to add four digits at a time and not more than four digits. So here, if I add the four digits that are in hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place and lakhs place that is seven zero three and two I will get the sum twelve. By adding carry on two to it I will get the number fourteen. So fourteen it is a two digit number so what we have to do here is we have to take four and we have to write it in the answer and the digit that is left over in the tens place one should be taken as carry on. So now in the answer I will be having the digits four zero six five seven and nine. Now, moving to the next step, here we have to add the 4 digits by leaving the 3 digits from the right side, that is 0, 3, 2 and 1. By adding these 4 digits, I will get the sum 6 and by adding carry on 1 to each, I will get the sum 7. This 7 should be written in the answer and in the answer now, I will be having the digits 7, 4, 0, 6, 5, 7 and 9. 
Now moving to the next step, here I have to add 3 digits. Why? Because I am not having any more digits further. So I should add only 3 digits at a time now. So by adding the 3 digits that is 3, 2 and 1, I will get the number 6. That is the sum 6. This should be written in the answer and in the answer I will be having the digit 6, 7, 4, 0, 6, 5, 7, 9. Now again moving furthermore, again I have to add 2 digits. So 2 plus 1 I will get 3 and I have to write it in the answer and in the answer I will be having the digits 3, 6, 7, 4, 0, 6, 5, 7, 9. And finally the last leftover digit in the multiplicand is 1. And this one should be written as it is in the answer. And now in the answer, I will be having the digits 1, 3, 6, 7, 4, 0, 6, 5, 7, 9. And therefore, finally, we can say that 12,30,789 into 1,111 is equal to 1,367,406,579. So, this is the way how we can use the shortcut in order to get the answer when we are multiplying a number with series of ones. So guys, I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use the shortcut when we are multiplying with series of ones. And I do hope that you have enjoyed pretty well. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.